Guys Show. I'm Odin. I'm Peter. And today we're going to talk about animals that would make good pets. Alright. Well, I always did want a like pet monkey, chairs. but then I later realized they'd bite your finger off. Well, depending on, you yeah. know, like if they were small enough, they couldn't bite your finger, but also if, um, also, it, oh, what was I going to say? If they were trained, they probably wouldn't bite your finger. Or It'd be cool finger. to have like a Tarsier or a squirrel monkey. A Tarsier? What's a Tarsier? Tarsier? Something like that. There was this one story that Bobby told us. It was like where he saw a capuchin monkey that flipped him off. And then started biting his foot. I don't know if you guys should be telling that story. Nah. But, but, but it was true. I wonder where he got that from. Another also, one I think would be a marmoset. It's those like small, like tiny monkeys like this big. They are so cute. It would be all it would be really cool because it would be it would be almost just like a hamster or a mouse or whatever. But monkey like or gerbil. Monkey like that. Yeah, but it would have little, it would actually have hands so it could grab stuff. And it would be cool if it could learn how to open its cage. You'd have to make, it's, you'd have to get this giant room. You'd have to have a room, a whole room dedicated for the monkey. Yeah. Probably like this big. Yeah, because he would have to be able to go around wherever he wanted. You would have actually, to. Recently, I wanted a pet skunk, but you're not legal here in Arizona. But it would also be cool to have a pet armadillo. Oh, and I don't think we've mentioned this before, but we have a new table, and we just got new chairs today. And they you could awesome. see, I'll we show got you. a paint job. I'll show you. They are like this. They are really cool. We've been spinning around in them this whole time. Yeah. But... That'd be cool to have like a pet armadillo or a oh, that, skunk. Oh, that would be cool. Town. But I mean, it would be cool if it got scared and rolled up. But I, I, I wouldn't want to scare it on purpose because that would be kind of cool. I would rather have a three-banded armadillo because they're smaller and roll into bowls. That'd be yeah, funny. Bobby, what you, do you think would be a good pet? Uh, a good pet, I would have to say probably like a porcupine or something because, you know, they got really nice feathers. Okay. Um, another good pet, I think, a rat. I mean, those are a lot, pets. A lot of people think, like, if you think that rats wouldn't be good pets, um, I, I don't think you've ever known someone that has a pet rat. Rats? Are amazing. All oh, we actually just had a rat. Yeah, no, we have we, a rat. We have a rat. My mom that night was like, we got a yeah, new cage, but didn't, now she didn't want to scare anyone. She's like, ew, no, I don't want a rat. And then she saw it, and she's like, oh my god, he's so cute. We're getting this and thing. All it is is it's pretty much just a large if you mouse. like if you like mice, it's a large mouse. That's way smarter. That's how I got, if you like dogs, it's a small dog. That's how I got my mom to get us that. Yeah, and they're s really smart. If you, like, I made this toy for wait, him. Wait, wait, I want to tell him. Like, our mom, the night we got him a brand new cage, she said, you messed it up, I need you to clean it. The next morning we come in, oh, he took every little piece of cardboard and shoved it into yeah, this we little took, area that we put in the corner. Yeah, he used and my to mom's have, like, nice. He was a baby. He even had a so tennis he ball had that this, he put in there. He had this little cage, like maybe this big, but he, he was a baby, so it wasn't that small. But then, but then he started getting... We got, him, we got him, we got him a ferret cage for an energetic ferret, so it's huge. It's like... If you lay maybe, it down on the side, it's probably this yeah, big. Yeah, it's probably... No, it's a little less than that. It's probably up to here if but you about lay it on this table. This wide. Yeah, it's about this wide too. And it's for an energetic ferret. So for a baby rat, that would he he absolutely loves it. Oh yeah. It's very tall. It's like four feet high, which is a round as tall as me. Well it's a little it's I think it's a little less than four feet, but it's really cool. When you put the stand when on it. When you put it, the wheels on, 
it is tall. It's probably like this tall with the wheels. We have it because when we got it, it broke when we were putting it together because it was like the things like All that. All the sides the were on welded here. except one was yeah. glued. Well, it wasn't glued, but it wasn't welded very good. Yeah, it wasn't welded very well. So when I was putting the wheel on, it broke off. So we haven't put the wheels on yet. But but I don't know why we don't have to put the wheels on. All it does is make it where you can move around. But the cool thing is that you can train a rat to do lots of things. Like our rat, he's starting to learn his name. Oh, and a funny thing that he did which proves how smart they are, we tied a string oh. that let it, we, we might post this video on YouTube because it is so funny and cute. He tells the string, he knows the string is there because he'll pull it, he'll back into the corner, yeah, and then he'll run with down his, the stairs like, and he bring grabs it into it the area his... he put cardboard in and he will only eat there. One time I gave him a little treat, he took it and ran down into the corner. Okay, so what he does is he like, it's like a paper bag kind of thing. It's like about filled this big. Cheerios. Yeah, it's filled with Cheerios. You could just fill it with anything and then tie it to like a white shoelace because apparently every other color shoelace has dye in it. So then you just like bring it through his cage, like the top, his or her cage. We're not, we're not even sure if ours is a boy or a girl, but. Most likely a boy though. Yeah. But um, what they will do, what well, what our rat does is he grabs it with his hands, like he twists it around because he already he chewed it open in this one place, where so he grabs the bottom flap because it's like a little hole, so it's kind of like two pieces of paper like that that like flap around. He grabs onto the bottom one, he backs up, he backs into the corner of his cage, like it would be right here. Then he keeps pulling and goes into the other corner then he takes it and he he runs down his little ladder or ramp or whatever you want to call it onto the other floor and then down the other ramp onto the other floor right, enough and then into the bottom of his into the bottom half of his old cage all right well enough about our rat but let's see so amazing pets would probably be any type, of, any type of monkey or things like that. That wouldn't bite you. So like primates, small primates. Um, I think a normal sized monkey would be cool too, especially a chimpanzee, because you could like dress it up, because they would wear clothes. You could bring it around with you when like you a kid, show like where just hold its hand and walk around with it. chimpanzee went crazy, it was in a little like... Oh yeah, I saw that. I was watching that with you. What's it called? Overalls? And it had a gun in its hand? He found the gun. He was That's he got out of his cage. He was he was like going crazy because he takes this medicine. And I don't took remember too much what of it. it. No, he didn't he didn't take it. No, yeah, he found it and he took too much of it. Actually no, it wasn't his medicine. It was his owner's medicine. He took he took a bunch of it, like he just opened it up and like ate it all and he went crazy. So he got out of his cage. So like, as long as you like treat it right, yeah. a chimpanzee would be a pretty. He cool got one. out of his cage, went into the owner's room, and found a gun, and which is pretty scary because he was aiming it and holding it the right way. So. That's pretty <laughs> so yeah, if you have him right, a chimpanzee would be pretty cool. So let's see, like a chimpanzee, a tiny, pretty much any kind of monkey or whatever. Yeah. Um, an armadillo. An armadillo. Trust a rat. A rat. A skunk. Skunk. And definitely, of course, a dog. I really like German Shepherds, though. They are awesome. They are beautiful dogs that are pretty dang smart. They get maybe up to as high as our chairs. Probably right now. Actually, no. A little taller than that because mm -hmm. our dog, he's about this high. And German Shepherds are pretty, are, they're not as big as Great Danes. But they're pretty big, and they are really good. They yeah. they love to be trained. Most yeah. dogs don't. They're good at they're good at to be trained, and they do a lot of funny stuff. All right, so good pets. We got chimpanzee, taser, squirrel, monkey, uh, skunk. No, we had armadillo. We had any German kind of monkey. Rat. Any kind of monkey. Rat. What was it? 
Well, no. so those are amazing pets, yeah. and that's it for today. Well, not amazing, but like. Oh, awesome and make pets. sure you leave comments on what you want us to talk about next. And that's it for the guys show.